Hello from Europe and welcome to our impromptu live real-time <laughs> update on what we've been up to, where we're at, and how life has been treating us. Mm -hmm. So we are Ben, Rebecca, this is little Lucy at this time. We are currently in Croatia and this seemed like with everything going on in the world, this video, if you're watching on the day it came out, is recorded the day it came out. So. Omicron is raging here in Europe. Omicron is raging in the States. And we thought it'd be great to share a little bit about what, how we're handling it and also give you an update as to what we've been up to. In this video, we thought we would give you a little bit more of a background and explanation on the camper van rental series that just wrapped up on YouTube. How we've been doing since we picked up Denny, what it was like traveling through Western Europe, how we ended up here in Croatia and what we've been up to and where we've been staying since we've been here. So first up about that crappy rental van series that we just finished. Thank you for your patience through that series. Uh, we got a lot of heat from it saying you guys do nothing but complain. <laughs> and you know, from one perspective, I can kind of see where that observation comes from. And that's the perspective of we drew it out for three videos. Sure, I could have tightened it up to one 20 minute film, but we recorded a lot of content. And we also, from our perspective, we find value in being able to create three videos, three weeks of videos from one experience. And they were all very long and very good quality videos. Sure, there were moments when the van got to us, but all in all, I thought we remained very positive, except when the van reared its ugly head. So that being said, thank you. And we are so happy to be back in Denny and have so much greater appreciation for Denny after that. Something you may or may not have figured out about the background activity of our videos is when we go somewhere and do something, we tend to record a lot of that experience, whether it's the Baja or Eastern Sierra or driving to the Arctic or getting ready to come to Europe. And then we go for longer periods of time where we don't record at all and we spend time Ben spends time editing, I spend time on our other businesses, we spend time just with each other and having a rest and a break. And that's what we've been doing for the last month. We really haven't recorded much of anything, a few snippets here and there of fun stuff we've gone and done while we've been staying here. But it's been a lot of time for ourselves, some time resting up from our big travels and time for Ben to get caught up on some editing, me on some work. Like Ben mentioned, in next week's video, you're going to come along with us as we pick up Denny from the port in Belgium. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big yay. Yes. And then we spent a couple of weeks wandering around Western Europe and having a lot of fun. We made some really great memories and had some fun experiences. Yeah, some very memorable experiences. <laughs> and we recorded a lot of content. It all started yeah. off with leaving uh, Camping Maca, and we gave you a tour of what a European campground looks like. Uh, then fumbled our way around a grocery store, <laughs> learned how to use uh, some of the new apps to us here in Europe to uh, find places to park for the night. Accidentally ended up in Germany illegally. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a debacle. Uh, it was a truly an accident. Mm -hmm. We visited a World War II a monument of sorts, oh, you know, yeah. some landmark, Historical we'll call it that, site. and camped on a farm. So yeah, that yeah. was about it for Germany. Then we decided to flee for France. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up in this great little town right on the border where we spent a couple of nights in our first municipal campground in Europe. Yeah, you're going to really find these things interesting. They're like towns have free campgrounds with like little service stations. It was like totally foreign i know that's gonna sound stupid <laughs> coming out of my mouth but a totally foreign concept and an awesome place lucy particularly liked it because that's the place with the open field. yeah giant field to let lucy run off leash then we went to camp on the shores of the rhine that was yeah. one of the coolest things we did totally a unique experience uh Those from there boats we were awesome yeah we went to a big city and found ourselves didn't stay. <laughs> didn't stay. We found ourselves driving through a very questionable neighborhood that 
just gave us a totally yeah. bad vibe and we'll just have to leave it at that you can watch the video later. neither of us felt good there so we ended up in our favorite type of place which was a small little village in alsace and we camped between a winery and a cemetery yeah that was totally unique <laughs> followed it up with visiting one of Rebecca's bucket list items, an authentic European Christmas market. Went wine tasting at the vineyard we yeah. were staying at. That really cool, amazing. like historic three generation wine cellar. It was totally awesome. And he gave us a tour of behind the scenes. I learned a lot there. Yeah, totally. And that gin is amazing. <laughs> uh, but you'll see that all later. <laughs> then, ah, how should I say this? Reality hit us. <laughs> That word Omicron entered the media's vocabulary and the world's vocabulary. And being foreigners, we're not EU nationals. Mm -mm. We have this thing called the Schengen visa. visa. It's we're allowed to stay 90 days out of 180 days. So at that point, we were on the total downhill slide of our Schengen time and the world just started panicking and we felt mighty vulnerable being where we're at because there's so many borders to cross that we ended up making let's see five countries 500 plus miles one in day. one day run down here to Croatia to get a fresh 90 days yeah. and you know we probably in hindsight could have hung out a little longer because yeah. things ended up settling out but the problem was the countries were starting to lock down one by one by one. It was we a cascade effect. Getting, we'd already gotten caught in Germany's little hiccup. And we just thought we have 45 days left. If we get caught in a lockdown here, we're going to have to deal with a big mess with yeah. our visa. And it was just pretty intense. There's just a unique set of challenges traveling here when you're not a citizen. Yeah. And during the pandemic, of course. So we found ourselves... Here in Croatia. Uh, 90 days here again. Yes. So uh, that was a clean slate and a good chunk of time yep. to kind of get our feet under us. Camped on a beach and I proceeded to have an old injury f show its ugly head as my uh, back went out. So we found ourselves in this awesome little coastal town. And this is what is doing? called a homestay off of one of the apps <laughs> that we've been using to find campsites. And so what it is. It's somebody's house, and for a small fee, they let people park for the night. Yeah. Pretty darn cut and dry. And this place has everything we need. It's been absolutely Water, wonderful. Water, electricity, trash, yep. a place to dump, laundry. Yep. There's a bakery, gosh, like right there. There's a little grocery store up there. There's a big grocery store over there and a swimming pool. What, like 150 meters or something? As the crow flies. Which was why we ended up here originally, because when Ben starts having trouble with his back, the swimming pool is the key. Mm -hmm. And of course, I never complain about getting to swim every day. <laughs> it's the best medicine. Let's yeah. just leave it at that. But there's also a really cool, I don't know what the formal name of it is, but I'm going to call it some type of a barbecue restaurant. Oh, yeah. Right, so uh, nice. maybe 300 meters away. So this place is perfect everything. the family is wonderful and They've it feels like we have family us. and <laughs> it literally it just feels like a second home mm -hmm. and well my back was kind of aggravated for two weeks first week i didn't do much second week i started I editing mm -hmm. and i have been an editing machine guys mm -hmm. i have now seven weeks <laughs> of videos all scheduled out and ready to go for you. It's awesome. I should take a picture of what you look like when you're editing. Yeah. He wears these special glasses so he can look down at his computer. He's the got pris headphones prism on. glasses. And anytime you say something to him, he's like, huh? <laughs> and then when I don't he's listen to you, zone. you then squawk at me like, you never listen to what I say. I'm like, and well, now we have Lucy again. So if I talk to her, it's like, yeah, what? <laughs> it is, it is a mess. All in a 13-foot box. There's a little insight into what life is like real time. Yep. <laughs> anyway. But those seven videos, I really wish I could give them to you all right now because I'm so eager to share them. But the YouTube industry standard and the algorithms really like it when we publish every single week. Well, plus it also gives us, like I mentioned yeah. early on, 
we do this where we make a whole bunch of videos, Ben spends some time editing them, and then we have some time to go travel and make more videos and have a little bit of fun. Yeah, we're either so on we or we're off. we need to get off. a few months ahead just for our own sanity and not have that weekly, gotta have a video for yeah. everybody. And the quality of life for me is a lot better when I'm not under the gun to create a video every single week. That's just is what it is but i've been a machine and there's a ton of video out there so i was telling you like the algorithms say like put out a video every single week but you know what our youtube membership page doesn't care at all so all of those videos there's like two and a half hours of fresh content for really the good, outliers the uh youtube community so if you are looking for something to do Join up our membership community, got the increased engagement with us. We'll start, you know, if we can maybe figure out a good time to set up some live chats with folks. Yeah, now that we're Because we're nine time. hours away from Pacific time, so there's going to be some challenges. Like, might have to do some middle of the night chat sessions, but we would be very happy to have you part of that community and everybody that is a part of that community. Thank you so very much. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Yes. So now I have to look at my notes to figure out what else we need to talk about. You're probably wondering what's next. So for the next few weeks, we have plans to work on some informative, educational, and inspirational videos. We've learned a lot since we left home, and we're pretty excited to share all of that information with you guys. Okay, I'm not sure if we're going to get to all of them, but here's a few of the video ideas that we have a review about our new separate tiny toilet, a junk in our trunk video. Like we carry a ton of stuff back there that a lot of what ifs, like mechanical things and tools and some fun recreational things, but a junk in our trunk video would be great. Uh, Van Life Kitchen Essentials. Uh, we've really dialed in after three years of traveling in this thing, the kitchen, and we got it figured out. Uh, why we don't live in Alaska anymore. Sure, we still have our house there and are technically residents there, but we're never there anymore. And the Alaska videos that we did about a year and a half ago have performed very, very well. So why don't we live in Alaska anymore would be great. Uh, things we miss about America and a three month uh, of living in Europe review, what it's been like, which we kind of just gave you. So maybe that one won't happen. Uh, van life gadgets and hacks, why it took five years to ship to Europe. And this is, these two are big, but a finalized tour of the renovations that we did this past summer. We've never given you that full blown tour and also a video about the mistakes we made because we have, we did make a few. Before we sign this video off, we thought we'd give you a little bit more of a tour of where we've been staying. So this is the backyard of our host's retirement home. You can see it's under construction. They've been doing the stairs and finishing the stucco and making it just look spectacular. First off, you can see here we're plugged into electricity. This is the converter box that we brought from home and we'll go into more detail about how we've been using that in a later video, but it does have electricity. This is our freshwater source here at the house. Normally the hose is hanging up here, but the wall just was freshly stuccoed, so obviously it's down. Got a little hook up here for the water. Uh, the hoses are a bit different here, so in that future video, we'll show you how we put water in the tank. They're all set up here with an honor box system for paying on the nightly, and as people come and go, there's information in there about what they should pay, and they can leave it there for the hose to pick up. Right through this door behind me is an apartment with a washer and dryer where we're able to do our laundry whenever we want. I'm pleased to report that the trash situation in Croatia is much simpler than our experience in Italy. So it's pretty simple. You put it in here. If you have recyclables, you can take them to the grocery store and recycle them in their little machines there. So you can see here the house protects the truck from the street. It's inside the walls. We feel nice and cozy and safe. And there's a few other parking spots. So we've had a lot of fun getting to meet and know the people that have been coming and going. So this is a view of the property from the street. Just down that way is our favorite little bakery and a restaurant we get food from occasionally. 
up that way, you head to our other favorite restaurant, a great little market and the swimming pool. You can see it's a pretty nice, calm, quiet little neighborhood on the outskirts of town. So it's been a really peaceful place to stay this time. Okay, it is the end of 2021. I think it's safe to say that they like their fireworks here in Croatia. It's not even the turn of the hour yet. It's gonna happen any minute now, but it has been like this all evening long. Heck, it's been like this, not this extreme, but all week long. Last thing on the checklist of modern conveniences, sewer, and it's pretty simple. Lift this up, move it over, pour it in, put the lid back in place. Well, I did remember one thing, so that was not the last, internet. How are we getting internet? Cause that's kind of critical to being like a digital nomad. Well, Croatia has T-Mobile and they have these cards, little SIM cards, and for roughly about $11, you get seven days of unlimited internet. So we have a burner phone, we make a hotspot, we can watch Netflix, we can surf, we can work, we can exist Do like normal. We want. Yeah. And the price being $11 a week, that's not bad for unlimited internet. So the as far as the great states thing goes. The thing about it is that we're able to Wi Fi call. Yes. So if we want to call home and visit with anybody, we just do it over Wi-Fi and it is stellar service. Yep. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, from the bottom of our hearts, that includes Lucy's. <laughs> we genuinely wish you and your family, loved ones, friends, the best during these trying times. We know there's a lot going on in the world right now. And just want to say we love you all. Hope you're well. Yep, and that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Okay, remember, there's all kinds of videos in our Outliers membership section. Right, Lucy? Right. Okay, <laughs> bye. What are you trying to tell us? Oh, you got left out of the video? Oh, we forgot to tell them there's a dog park five minutes away too? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, you're being dramatic, Luch. Okay. <laughs> Go. Go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's do this one. Oh, let's circle around. Okay, let's do this one. <laughs> hey.